are somewhere in the Canadian wilderness. We're going to be car camping in my mom's Jeep setup, finding a waterfall and doing a cold plunge and also trying to find an abandoned mining cave. We've got the weekend off work, so let's see what we can get up to. We've got two girls and a dog in one Jeep. It's gonna be a good couple of days. So this is my mom's rig. How long have you been camping out of here for? For about seven years. Yep, this is my rig. I like to keep it simple. We've got all our gear in the back and we're just gonna pull it out, get our kitchen set up, get the bed set up. So let's do that. <laughs> It's fall now, so it's pretty chilly. The very first time I was exposed to any type of outdoor activities, I was living in Ontario and my mom lived out in BC and I took a plane here and we did a trip from Vancouver Island over to Banff National Park and we slept in this Jeep together for a full week with no showers. We got quite cozy, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did, yeah. That was a good trip though. That was an awesome trip. So we're gonna be cooking some salmon and some veggies for dinner tonight. It's stable enough, Thank is it flat enough? Thank you. Kiro needs his food. So Kiro's sleeping in the front seat. We've got his dog bed across. That looks nice and cozy. I can sleep on top of this, so it's not. I much prefer blankets to sleeping bags when I'm sleeping in the car. Sleeping bags are for backpacking trips. <laughs> I think we're gonna check this out. The uh, Sport Cove um, camper. We're gonna see how that sets on the back of the Jeep. So if it starts raining, we have a little bit of cover. I think the temperature is gonna drop a lot overnight, but. Oh, he was thirsty. Everyone's gotta have a camp kitchen bin when they're car camping. We've got a giant piece of salmon. We're gonna heat up some fried rice. For the salmon, we're gonna do soya sauce and kewpie mayo, which is, I think it's like a Japanese mayo, and then asparagus and broccoli. The oil, skin first. Woo! My favorite YouTube comment I've ever gotten is, you can't fish, you can't cook, but I still like your videos. <laughs> So thank you to that person. They're not wrong. A little bit of cupy mayo on there. It's a big tonker. What is that little thing? Oh, but it's blow up and it's super light. This yeah. would be great for backpacking. Sure. Gotta get our lanterns out. After we cook dinner, we're gonna go to the platform overlooks. Oh yeah, I always forget the lid, but we got it. Oh, you little Right, Kiro. I guess Kiro's having fried rice for dinner. Oh my God, Kiro. So I guess we have to let him eat it. I'm sorry, mom. Okay, go ahead. I don't think salmon and asparagus is gonna fill us, but I did have a couple wontons, so let's see if we can get those going. Okay, it's yours. <laughs> so you don't like salmon normally? No, I, well, I just, I don't eat a lot of salmon. That is for sure. But I'm willing to taste this. Mmm, it's very nice. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. You know, I burnt a lot of it, but. That's okay. The best food is food made for you. Mm. Sit. Wait. Okay. Ooh, she's oily. Oh, she's frosty. Wait for me. I have little legs. <laughs> wow. Look at those snowy mountains. Oh, it's so gorgeous out here. So we're taking our hot chocolates and Kiro for a walk. There is a really pretty lookout just over past our parking spot. So we're gonna go check it out. Pretty overcast, but it's a pretty view. Look at that one cloud, like just hanging, yeah. sitting right there. I love that. What if we did like a ridge hike all along the top of it? Oh, that looks a little sketchy. <laughs> Wow, that's quite an angle. It's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You're scared of heights, too. Terrified. Oh! That's not funny. You can't really tell, but this is super slanted. And I, do you think they built it this slanted? Or do you think it's falling? Okay, Kiro, Kiro, Kiro. If I let go of this wood here, I would fall. Okay, so you've got egg cartons, and what are you putting in there? Cotton? Cotton balls, yeah. Got it. Not this one. You still have hot pockets? Ah, it's so warm now. I wonder if Kira was getting cold. Oh, 
I hope it actually lands on it. Sorry. Is it nap time? No. Is it sleepy time? You want to go in the comfy tea? You could stare at a fire all night long. After this, all our wood burns, we're going to cozy up into the Jeep and we'll show you our sleep setup. It's daylight savings in Canada, so it gets dark at 4.30. 4 <laughs> but we have some good entertainment. ...of their rainforest environment. Jaguars are ghosts. Cozy, very cozy. Wow, that looks so cozy. It is super cozy. What? It's a little bit different from my Subaru car camping setup that I'm used to. You can actually sit up and have a ton of headspace. I'm five foot four, but you could fit a six foot person back here if you push the seats all the way forward. So we have two full-sized humans in the back. We've got Kiro in the passenger seat and all our gear is in bins up on the roof rack above we don't have a strap down but if you're worried about having to get a quick getaway in the middle of the night you could strap it down ow <laughs> so it's about 6 30 we've put the fire out and we're not quite ready to go to bed yet so i usually listen to an audiobook and I'm starting a new one with my mom so we can listen to this one together. I've been a member with Audible for years and with that membership, you get one credit a month. So I'm really excited to have Audible sponsor today's video. Thank you so much, Audible. You can download them so you listen to them when you're out of service like we are right now. I listen to them every single day when I'm walking Kiro. It's also really great for road trips or just commuting to work. Especially if you have a busy lifestyle, audiobooks are so amazing. We're gonna start Mother of God by Paul Rosalie. It's his story. He is an adventurer and a conservationist. He goes into the Amazon rainforest at 18 years old. So he has some really interesting stories about the types of animals he runs into. He does it completely alone. Another title I'd recommend is Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Kimmerer. She is an indigenous woman and a botanist, professor of plants. And Audible is giving a free trial for a month. You can visit audible.com slash Madison Clydesdale or text Madison Clydesdale to 500-500. I'll put it on the screen. I highly recommend. I've been a long time member. And thanks again, Audible, for sponsoring this video. We'll see you in the morning for a waterfall adventure and a cold plunge. Are you gonna get in? Maybe. We'll see. So much room for activities back here. <laughs> More room than your Subaru, huh? You don't understand how comfortable I am right now. It's just... Luxury. <laughs> I'm in love with Jeep camping. Kira likes it too. Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> Kira's on me. Oh, it rained all night. The roof? has a lot of condensation in the windows. You would, if you were living in here longer term, you'd get mold. It's morning, it's still dark, it's still raining. We're gonna put up a tarp so we can make some coffee under it before we head to our next destination. Where am I? I don't know where I'm putting it. It's not meant for deep. Oh yeah. Yeah, in the summer, this would be really but, nice. Then we wouldn't have the condensation we had in the Jeep last night. It's shoulder season here in Canada. It's November. It's not quite snowing yet, but it's still near freezing temperatures. Okay, so I forgot my bathing suit. We're now on the hike to get to the falls. My mom is saving the day again. I'm gonna have to borrow her bathing suit bottoms, but it is gorgeous in here. My mom lived on Vancouver Island for 10 years while I was still in Ontario, and it's definitely feeling like the rainforest there. Feels like home. Okay, do you think I should do the cold plunge? It's There's not fun. much of a pool at the bottom. It's pretty shallow, but I'm thinking I could still sit. Cold plunges, 
spike your dopamine levels and lower your stress levels. So this is supposed to be good for you. Mission success, I feel amazing. I highly recommend you try a cold plunge in your lifetime if you haven't already. It's about two degrees Celsius and I'm just walking back in my towel because the air is actually warmer than that water was. We are in the Okanagan and there was a massive fire that happened in West Kelowna, which is actually not too far from where we're based out of. We're trying to see if we can access this mine that we heard of, but we are in the depths of this fire that just happened a few months ago. I think it's this way. Because this just burned down a few months ago, the ground is very unstable. The roots burn and then it leaves holes in the ground that you could actually collapse. The earth could collapse underneath your feet. <gasps> oh my God, it's right here. It's just a mine in the side of the wall. Oh, that is you're creepy. Not, you're not going in there. We're, we are going in there. Come on, we can do it just for a minute. No, it's, it's filled with water. Oh, don't drink that, Benny. Whoa. It is creepy. Oh, it's Whoa, it's pitch black. We're inside the cave and I, if I turn off this light, I can't even see my hand in front of me. I've watched too many scary movies for this. So this is what we can see with the light on. And when I turn the light off, pitch black. Wow. Could be animals living <gasps> oh, in God. here. Could be. Hold on, animals. I can't turn my light back on. Oh, there we go. Okay, we, offic we can officially see the light again. Kiro did not like that. He is not a mining doggo. <laughs> We're back in the cozy car, headed home after a little weekend getaway. Next week, I am actually headed down south to the Utah area and excited to do some exploring. I've never been to the Southwest and I'll be taking you guys along. Thank you so much for being here this week and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.